ready to get that grub on. You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today is a rainy, rainy day, but it's not going to stop my show. You already know. Here we are with a Taco Bell mukbang, man. We're going to try their nacho fries. I see they brought them back out, so it must have been something special. And they came out with a nacho fry supreme where it almost looked like the nacho supreme, but it got the nacho fries in it. And then I also tried a double cheesy gordita, $5 box. So I'm gonna let you guys see that real quick. So I wanna try the fries first, cause you know fries with the sauce and all that, man. You know how that, how that gets, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, then I'm gonna go ahead and get in my box. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, also got my little drink to wash it down or whatever, but I'm gonna dive in on this, guys. Let you guys know how it is. Um, I mean, I like that they, they, they added a lot to it, you know what I mean? It actually tastes just like the Nacho Supreme, man. Said, today is it's been a, a really rainy day. I mean, I don't know how it is in, in some of you guys' area. Um, but it's been raining a lot lately. There's actually been a lot of uh, people getting sick. So I'm starting to think it's like it got to be flu season or something, right? I mean, I'm not sure. But the way people getting sick, I, I don't know, man. So we gotta be careful. Y'all hear me always? My allergies, man, be bad when the weather change or whatever. So you know, I definitely try to be careful. He's talking. About. Believe it or not, to me. Lettuce and cheese be the best part, man. I mean, the meat good too, but I, like, I always like fresh lettuce, y'all know that. Actually gonna um you know try to cook something different today you know to get ready for um Valentine's tomorrow I mean I know a lot of the women are excited I don't know about the men <laughs> and I feel bad for the men who uh to celebrate Valentine's Day and a birthday. But there are some women who were born on Valentine's Day. <laughs> so, shout out to y'all, you know what I mean? Man, I'm pretty sure, you know, my guys, my good guys, they, they know how to handle it, you know what I'm saying? So, do right, guys, do right. Here's my double... Double cheesy gordita. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, you can definitely taste the cheese in it. really cheesy on the inside. Man, I 
more of a fan of the crunchy tacos than the soft ones. I don't know. It's always been like that. Could be good. I enjoy that uh, crunchiness. You know, the lettuce crunching real good. There's a problem with having a beard, man. You know how, like, ladies, how y'all have to wash y'all hair and all that when you get in the shower? It's the same for me because my hair, right? At the same time, it ain't nothing like having to wash the beard, man. And I stay having to wash my I think the worst thing you can do is have a beard and your beard be stink. <laughs> that's, that, that's just the worst thing you can do, in my opinion, you know. Some some people may like to have the little stink beards. I just ain't one of them. Bro. Anyway. Back to the Valentine. So Anybody got anything special planned for Valentine? I mean, I think the Valentine thing kind of it kind of falls into like a life circle, a life cycle. And what I mean by that is, it's kind of like a baby. You're a baby, you turn into a man. And they say as you get older, it's like you start turning back into a baby again. That's that Benjamin Button. So, Valentine's the same way. When you're young, you want to get whatever to impress the, the young girl. You get older, you get married, still trying to impress your wife, show what, how much you appreciate her. After about 20 years, appreciation change not not how much but how you express it because each year lead up to them 20 years you try to outdo the last year you know go bigger go better go bigger go better there's only so much you can do so once you get them 20 years man you like yeah You go the gift card to get you a little massage. Here go a little money for you to uh, put in your in your child bank account in your school. Uh, I just wash your car for you. Uh, you know stuff like that. All right, what'd you get? And you know what's good about that? Is the spouse appreciates it as well. That's the biggest part about it. You know, once you grow together, you know, a lot of those materialistic things don't hold value. They don't matter as much. You know, it's just more so the appreciation of the the lifespan of your relationship. So, with that being said, today's word is longevity. You know, a lot of things <clears throat> happen over time, but you see the best results over time. You know what I mean? Think about your credit, for example. A lot of people don't understand that when they're younger and they're building their credit, 
I try to figure out, man, why can't I never get my score past the 700? Well, a big factor of your credit is your um, age history. How long have you had credit? How long have you had a line of credit? The longer you had, uh, you've had a line of credit, the better your credit can be. So you can have credit 30 years or so. You get in the 800s, you in the 8s, 10, 15 years, 20 years. Because credit, jobs, bank accounts, it's all about longevity. And it's the same with relationships because each one of those things are individual relationships that you're going to have to have in your life. Whether you have good credit, bad credit, whether you have a positive in your bank account or a negative, any of these things are still based on the relationship you have. So longevity, guys, focus on longevity. The materialistic things will come. They will go. There will be something else to replace those, but nothing can replace the lifespan of your relationship. Okay. It's your boy. I had to give it to you while I enjoyed my Taco Bell mukbang and ate all of this stuff to the point where my stomach about to explode from my back. But again, I do it for you guys. So, shout out to Taco Bell. The double cheesy gordita was busting. Those fries are really good, but you gotta eat them fast, man, because they'll get soggy quick because they give you so much meat and stuff, right? So, shout out to them for that. I hope you guys have a, a, a wonderful Valentine's tomorrow. You guys definitely have to let me know and comment below what you end up doing for Valentine's Day. What's your plan for tomorrow? Let me know, guys. You know, hey, somebody in the comments may need some help. So let us know, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's keep pushing, guys. Road to 10K. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.